This video is going to be over how to read and write decimals. Alright, well let's review decimal place value first. Remember, all the numbers on the le left of the decimal are whole numbers. So then you have tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths, and ten millionths. Now usually place value usually stops at the ten thousandths mark. Is usually as far as um, we would usually go. So, I mean, you can memorize those, but I would at least memorize up to the ten thousandths. Now, when you read decimals, let's read the first one. This is forty three and six tenths, five and two tenths, seven and 29 hundredths, 63 and 174 thousandths, and 5 and 25 hundredths. Now, to when you read decimals, you have to remember that the decimal point is always an and. In every one of these, the decimal point is and. Decimal point decimal point is and. Decimal point is and. Always say and. And then when you're reading all the numbers on the right of the decimal, they end in thousands. Five and two ten or not thousands and th. Five and two tenths, sixty-three and one hundred and seventy four thousandths, seven and twenty nine hundredths, forty three and six tenths. They all end in th. All right, so let's read this. This is 632.1. How would we say that? Would we, we would say that 632 and 1, 632 and 1 tenth, or 623 and 1 tenth, or 632 and 1 hundredth. Well, we know that it's 632, and we know that this is 1 tenth. So we need to find the one that says 632 and 1 tenth. So that would be this one. Seven over a hundred. Well, we know it's seven and we know it's hundredths. So we need to find the one that says seven hundredths. It's right here. All right, let's try this. 123 ten thousandths. So we know that it has to have ten thousandths at the end. So this one has ten thousandths, and this one has ten thousandths. So we're looking for a hundred and twenty-three. Well, it looks like this one is a hundred and twenty-three ten thousandths. The next one says five and three. Well, we have tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. So we need the one that looks like hundred thousandths. Well, if we're looking here, we only see one with hundred thousandths, so it must be this one, five and three hundred thousandths. All right, now, now if we wanted to write thirteen thousandths, well, we know that it's tenths, hundredths, thousandths. The thirteen has to be in the thou end in the thousandths place value, so we need to put a zero there as a placeholder. Remember, if it says thousands, the last number has to end on that place value. Twenty and six hundredths. Six hundredths needs to end in the hundredths place value. So we have twenty and, because it's twenty and, so it's twenty and a decimal point, six hundredths, ten hundredths. So it has to be six here with a zero as a placeholder. Two hundred and thirty-five and sixty thou thousandths. So we have two hundred and thirty-five and then and sixty thousandths. So let's do two thirty-five and sixty thousandths, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So sixty has to end in the thousandths place and have a zero as a placeholder. Three thousand twenty-two and four ten thousandths. So three thousand twenty-two and 
four ten thousandths. So it's tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So four here, so we have to have three zeros as placeholders. One thousand and three tenths. So one thousand and tenths, three tenths. Just make sure that you remember that the wherever whatever place value is last is where the last number has to end. Hopefully this has helped you read and write decimals. If you have any questions, please contact your teacher.